In recent news, San Antonio Spurs star and former Toronto Raptor DeMar DeRozan confirmed a report about an intruder at his home in LA. Located in Hidden Hills, DeMar's mansion is close to Kylie Jenner's which was apparently where said intruder was actually trying to break into. Aside from his Hidden Hills property, DeRozan formerly lived in a Tarzana house and a home in Canada which funnily enough is in a suburb I know well. In this video, we'll take a look at three of the NBA star's properties. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. DeMar DeRozan is a professional basketball player currently for the San Antonio Spurs in the NBA. He hails from Compton, California and previously played college basketball for the USC Trojans, being selected 9th overall by the Toronto Raptors in the 2009 NBA Draft. DeMar is a 4 time NBA All-Star and a 2 time All-NBA team member. He spent 9 seasons with the Raptors including 5 playoff runs before being treated treated to the Spurs in 2018, which explains why he used to have a mansion close to Toronto. He's also played for the US national team in the 2014 World Cup and the 2016 Summer Olympics. And these days, DeMar has an estimated net worth of about $23 million. As an 11 year NBA veteran, DeRozan now often spends off seasons at his home in Los Angeles, which is a place where the recent intruder incident went down. First reported by TMZ Sports, apparently a man broke into DeMar's mansion at the end of November and made his way into an area where at least one of his children was at the time. DeMar ended up coming face to face with the intruder and chased him out of the house and everyone was okay. The man was reportedly trying to find the home of Kylie Jenner who lives in the same area. They're actually neighbors. Hey guys, it's Kara and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're noticing a lot of copycat channels popping up where the originals and I noticed 95% of you watching aren't subscribed so hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. Today we'll be taking a look at the properties of DeMar DeRozan including his Hidden Hills home, a place in Canada he lived, and more. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Back in 2014, it was reported that DeMar DeRozan bought a home in the neighborhood of Tarzana, California for just over $3.7 million. Tarzana is an area in the San Fernando Valley of Los Angeles close to Encino and the site of a former ranch owned by author Edgar Rice Burroughs. Sure enough, he wrote the story about the jungle hero Tarzan, which is who this neighborhood is named after. DeRozan's home was his off-season digs when he wasn't playing with the Toronto Raptors and it was close to his roots. Since he was a standout high school basketball star at Compton, in high school, he didn't go far for college either when he landed at the University of Southern California. Anyways, this mansion allowed the NBA star to have a sweet spot to spend his downtime at away from the court. And inside spans 6,609 square feet with 7 beds and 8 baths. The home, built Mediterranean style in 1995, occupies over an acre of land in the guard-gated Mulholland Park area with expansive lawns and naturally a full basketball court too. Entered through a grand foyer with sweeping double staircase, the floor plan of DeMar's former home had features like distressed hardwood floors, high ceilings and detailed molding. There were common spaces like a double height living room with fireplace, formal dining room, media room as well as a chef's kitchen, complete with double island and the usual high grade stainless steel appliance. The kitchen also leads out to the covered patio outside with fireplace. Elsewhere, you'll find an additional family room with beam ceilings, an office, maid's room, and more. Among all of the indoor highlights, DeMar could kick back and relax in his master retreat, which offered a sitting area, his and hers closets, balcony, and ensuite with both a soaking tub and a steam shower. The property is set behind towering hedges for added privacy, and the park like grounds had a covered dining area and a raised pool area with separate patio, a spa, water slide, and covered cabana. While his Tarzana home was gorgeous, he also needed a place in the Great White North for the on season. Next up is a house in Canada that's actually near my family. Home. Located in Mississauga, Ontario, this mansion is probably about 25 minutes from downtown Toronto and in a posh upper class suburb. I drive by these streets often and only the richest and most successful people call these million dollar estates home. It's basically goals. This mansion was reportedly the home of DeMar DeRozan while he played many years on the Toronto Raptors team. He allegedly sold the home in November 2018 when he was getting traded to the San Antonio Spurs. It said DeRozan was unhappy about leaving Toronto at the time and it's easy to see after looking at this beautiful home. 
The home last sold for about $5.8 million and is on a leafy, quiet street, boasting a stunning yard with over half a million spent on landscaping alone. Inside, the mansion spans 8,500 square feet with a total of 15 rooms, 5 beds, and 6 baths. There is a double height entry and walking in you can see the custom winding staircase and formal living room with marble fireplace to one side. His former mansion had soaring ceilings, heated floors for those chilly Canadian winters and a total of 6 fireplaces scattered throughout. Another den near the kitchen had a mounted TV and another fireplace while the kitchen offered custom made cabinets, double ovens and a ton of space to cook and entertain. There were ornate chandeliers, artistry finishings on the wall and top of the line everything in this place. Other highlights include included a fully finished basement level with movie theater, custom wet and dry sauna, and a backlit wet bar. The master bedroom was unreal and looked like something from a luxury Las Vegas hotel, while the ensuite was even more lavish. Outside, Damar's former home had an outdoor kitchen, a bar, mini golf turf, fire pit, and a saltwater pool and spa. These days, we know that Damar is living in the lavish community of Hidden Hills in LA, and this is also the home where the recent break-in occurred. And I'm gonna be honest, I couldn't find any pics of his home here, but maybe it's for the best to protect he and his family's safety after the incident. I will, however, give you all the details I know about this home. In 2018, it was reported that DeRozan was upgrading from his Canadian mansion into the lavish and exclusive area that only people like the Kardashian Jenners can afford. Hidden Hills, which is easily the wealthiest neighborhood in the San Fernando Valley. The sale went down totally off market, which is why there are no picks, and the seller was Woodbridge Investments. Woodbridge coughed up cash for five vacant lots in Hidden Hills back in 2015, and the swanky Ashley Ridge section of town and two others hidden on a new street. The home I'm talking about is one of these on the new street, only being completed a couple months before DeRozan bought it. DeRozan's Hidden Hills pad is located at the end of this new cul-de-sac that will soon be lined with large mansions if it isn't already. Two doors away was one of Kylie Jenner's compounds and Nicola Sheridan of Desperate Housewives ranch style estate backs onto his as well. This mansion cost DeRozan a whopping $14.95 million and was reportedly paid for in all cash. Sadly, we know very little about this house, but supposedly it spans over 10,000 square feet of space and was built in a contemporary traditional style. The property has a pool and is surrounded by newly planted trees, adding more privacy. At the time the sale was reported, there was a half-sized basketball court in the works as well, so I assume by now that's been completed. If you guys happen to know any more about Damar's current Hidden Hills mansion, let me know in the comments. So now we've taken a look at two properties NBA star DeMar DeRozan used to call home, one even close to my place near Toronto, Canada, as well as a home he bought in 2014 in Tarzana. His current estate in Hidden Hills has little to no info about it, but I gave you all the details we could. And plus, after his scary intruder incident, we can give the man some privacy. Be sure to rate DeMar's properties or pick which is your fave, but I guess in this case it's gotta be between the two we could see photos of. Personally, I love the one in Canada because I know the neighborhood and it's a gorgeous place to ever be able to live. I'd also love it if you guys like and subscribe to my personal channel if you haven't. I post every Sunday and love getting to know you guys better over there. Thanks for tuning in, let me know whose house tour is up next, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!